Alrighty, recording this on a Saturday afternoon, evening, whatever the hell time it is. It'll be uploaded on Sunday, so you can watch this on the way to Clash of Champions, or you can watch it afterwards, or watch it instead of. All of that is just fine with me. Thanks to all of you that submitted your questions via the Twitter machines. Let's go ahead and get started. Life Forever asks, is Vince a hypocrite for pushing adult males away for 10 years? And now all of a sudden he wants them back because he has competition. Um, sure. Like, he conscientiously made a, a pitch to go towards not just families, but kids specifically. And he did push away large swaths of 18 to 49 year old males, which have always been the pillar of professional wrestling, at least in my lifetime fan base and always will be. Um, so it is kind of, I don't know if it's just because of the, he has competition now. You have the SmackDown show moving to Fox next month. You have USA, you got three hours of Raw. They're looking at the declining ratings and saying, WTF, we paid you all this money, Vince, what the hell's going on here? So I don't think it's just a competition thing, uh, but I could agree it's hypocritical. Cyanide Raid asks, what is it with all Joey Ryans of the world and their aversion to any and all types of criticism? You know, that's not necessarily a new thing. I, I will say that. Like, the aversion to criticism is not something that just started in the past 5, 10, 15, 20 years. It's just maybe the difference is, is people are more enabled to speak up and speak out and speak talk back against it. Like, in previous generations, maybe there was a more of a thing of, they're your parents, so they always fucking know better than you. No, the fuck they don't. Or you gotta respect your elders. They have more experience, so they automatically know better than you. Again, no, the fuck they don't. Um, but people maybe just shut up. It didn't mean they were many more open to the feedback. Um, maybe people used to not get as emotional about it. Maybe people... 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago, were a little bit thicker skin. Now, that I certainly think is true, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they were all that open and accepting of criticism or constructive feedback, whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, Kieran Stanfield, who or what main events WrestleMania 36? Are they talking about like having a four horsewoman tag match at Mania be the main event? Like, I'm, I'm looking ahead, like, what is the main event right now? I don't know if you have one. I don't know if you have one. Maybe there's been talk and I've missed it over the months, but yeah, I don't know. Horror Movie Review 73. If WWE had the women's revolution back in the Attitude Era, who do you think they would have pushed the most in terms of main event spots? The blondes with the tits specifically. Sable, Trish Stratus, you know, when you talk about that entirety of that, Time frame. Um, Keebler, Wilson. Right? Those are the types they would have pushed. They would have pushed China because that period of time, you know, Triple H was putting his godly presence up her butthole. So those would be some of the ones you could think of. Uh, if Molly Holly put on the blonde wig, then she sure, certainly would have gotten a push as well. Chrysler San Martin. If God, ugh, is God, ugh. Why can he not get a son? Ow, ow. Now he tweets this. Says, hashtag non-believer. Blasphemer! How dare you! Why can he not get a son? Because he chooses not to get a son. Not only A, because it is a critical tenant of Breakfast Club founder membership. B, is if he just went out there and produced nothing but sons, then all of us mere mortals that can only make daughters, you know, would feel like we never have a chance. It's how he makes us feel good about ourselves. Is he lowers himself, himself to our level. He makes the appearance, the illusion of humbling himself before his mere worshipers. Now, I want you to sit there and say, 10 hail hunters, and 30 Uggs for your penance. It's horrible! You don't question God. And not the fucking guy upstairs. 
You just think he's there. You don't really see it. Triple H makes miracles happen, and you can actually see that. Tony Selby, why are all your wrestling posters framed except the Jake the Snake one? It's messing with my OCD in every video. <laughs> I forgot that one doesn't have a frame on it. Thanks for reminding me. Um, I had what I thought was a frame for it, but it was too small. So I got to go get a different one. I just, other things keep coming up, and therefore, as a result, I just haven't went and gotten a different one yet. Eventually, I'll get one. In the meantime, if you got to block one side of your eyes so you don't fucking see it, fine. If you sit there and only listen to me and don't watch, that's fine too. Or you can teach yourself to get over your fucking OCD and deal with that for a little while, Tony Selby. One Arkali. What will be your choice for the commentary teams of both Raw and SmackDown? One choice, one request. Renee Young on neither one of those teams. That will be progress. 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 Davidson Crooks. Do you feel that AEW has too many small guys, i.e. Marco Stunt, Orange Cassidy, and others? You know, here's the thing. I, I, I'm guilty of it too, a lot of times, talking about size and the problem with too many small guys and not enough big guys. It's not the only problem. It's not the only problem. Like if AEW had 10 guys on the roster with the talent to be a character and a personality like a Drake Maverick, the size does not matter as much. It is limiting in some respects, but guys can still really, really get over. You can't help what size you are in terms of height and to a certain degree, just how much you can bulk up. You can be limited there. So compensate for it everywhere else. It's a matter of you look at him and these dudes don't look like they take it seriously. They don't hit the gym and you can sit there and say, oh, look, yeah, I'm also fucking pushing 40. I work God knows how many other, how many hours a week at my actual regular job. I'm also not getting paid to be a performer where my body, my vessel is a major component of my ability to draw money. If my job current state required me to be in phenomenal shape, then that's exactly what the fuck I would do. So, <laughs> excuse me. I don't think it's just the fact that they're small guys. It's the fact that so many of them look the same, act the same, can't talk the same, and really, frankly, move the same, can't work the same. They're not personalities. They're not characters. That's the problem. Because you look at so many... You know, Hollywood action and movie stars, a lot of them are under six feet. Like Tom Cruise is, what, 5'7"? He's a believable action star. Why? Because he can act. Or you put him in a good story. You put him in an interesting movie. You, you choreograph things. Well, you present him in a certain way. You do these things to mask the lack of size. and You do different things. That's the point. So it's not just the height or the lack of height. It is the fact that too many of these guys are the same just in terms of their styles and so forth, or their lack of styles. One Alex Sutcliffe. Should Chad Gable win King of the Ring, and do you see any potential in him? No, he shouldn't win King of the Ring. And if I'm being honest, what is so different or special about Chad Gable from any other guy on the fucking roster? Yes, engage in your flaming keyboard fingers of fire, but truth talk here. The hell makes him so special, What the hell makes him... So different than anybody else. And before you sit there and say, well, he's great in the ring. Well, so many of you think so many of these fucking geeks are great in the ring. What is so different and special about him? Nothing. <sighs> so, no. Maybe, but not real potential. Like, force potential. Uh, Mid Carter J. What's better for target practice? A dartboard or Dino Bravo? <laughs> I guess back in the wrestling days, you could have said the holes on Missy Hyatt's body because they were big enough and wide enough where you had a nice radius of target to shoot in. Uh, but of course, you got to go Dino Bravo. Bang, bang. 18 times over. Newman Company. With WWE having no plans for Asuka and Kyrie Sane, are they taking a page from Sasha Banks by taking time off from WWE? And when they come back, are we going to see a character change? My, we are incredibly optimistic, aren't we? <laughs> we are incredibly optimistic. You think Vince notices they're gone? 
<laughs> Handsome Holly. If you were in charge of WWE creative, what would you do to ruin the Fiend's momentum? Um, <laughs> what would I do to ruin his momentum? <laughs> um, I'd stop doing the vignettes with no explanation. <laughs> <laughs> and have him lose to Seth Rollins and hell in a cell. Ah, pretty much fucking take care of it. <laughs> or you just wait out the string and give it enough time and let WWE do their usual work. Do I really need to quantify? <laughs> Alex asks, what's your personal take on the original form of NXT? The one from 2010 where they did a bunch of silly stuff that, in my opinion, had great enjoyment out of it. It was okay. The first season or two was okay, and then after that, it went off the rails. James Faluca, who is the one person that The Undertaker never faced that you wish he would have and why? I'll use the WrestleMania context, and I will say Sting. Easy way out, I know, but incredibly logical, too. Master Sauruwatari, first time ever asking you a wrestling question, is it? Maybe it is. But do you think Sonny Kiss and Nyla Rose are only an AEW for SJW clout, or there because they have talent. Um, now, mind you, my exposure to both Nyla Rose and Sonny Kiss is very limited. So I can't really speak that much on the overall talent scope. Is there an element of they are specifically targeting diversity? Yes. Are they perhaps in that spot? due to a small component of being gay or being transgendered, perhaps. How many people in wrestling history have gotten big pushes just because they were white or just because they were somebody's son or somebody's nephew or somebody's relative or bone in somebody's daughter or married into the family or so on and so forth? You know, so um, I don't think they're there just for SJW clout. I think they probably see some potential in them. Um, I think they both need work. Um, but I wouldn't say they are talentless. Um, but, I, but I get where you're going a little bit. I know you don't necessarily agree with the SJW cloud, but I think there is a small component of that for sure. I mean, because even when you look at AEW, you know, you could say that it's it's still a white boy dominated organization. This is what it is. Um, Rick asks, which wrestler would you want to see run for president? Which wrestler would I want to see run for president? Resident. Excellent question. Excellent question. I thought I would have had an answer by now. <laughs> we have look at wrestling now, but I want any of these fuckers running the country. Ah, hell, who the hell cares? What difference would it make? If we go wrestlers... In history, I'll say fucking Dennis Romney. He should already be our ambassador to North Korea. Could he really do a worse job? I mean, seriously. Same. Larkin, what would people's reaction be if John Cena from 2008 to 2011 was in WWE today? A lot of what you saw in the Roman Reigns reaction. Black Blur is depressed. I know you call him God all the time, but what's your actual honest opinion on Triple H? I refer to the man as God. Ugh. The King of Kings, the game, the Cerebral Assassin, the Breakfast Club founder, the man of miracles. It does not matter what I think. It does not matter what you think. All that matters is what we know, and that is that he is God. Wrestling 10. During the Attitude Era, the WWE transitioned to Crash TV because that genre was becoming popular at the time. Is there any change like that today that the WWE could transition to? Maybe an even more reality-based one, but that would piss off so many people actually showing the behind-the-scenes of the creative and how you're putting stuff together. Now, it is a weird place. I don't know if you could truly match pop culture, but you could probably incorporate some animals. You probably incorporate a zombie gimmick. There are different pieces and elements that you can do. Um, but there could be an element where fucking Crash TV could still work today. Thank you, everybody, for sending in your questions. Let's see how Clash of Champions turns out Sunday.